Hello there. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Stephanie, and I will be your yoga teacher for today. I often wonder if you guys get tired of me saying that repeatedly, but I don't ever want someone to come to the channel that's never been here before and me not introduce myself. So that's kind of my little three-second spill. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. This is going to be a very warm power flow. So this past year, I have been filling up the channel with a ton of variety. And so I'm trying to go after what you guys want. And power flows are probably the most requested, asked for thing and y'all requested some longer power flows so that's what we're here to do today we're going to try to make this one about 45 ish minutes we're going to start in an all fours position so go ahead and meet me on your mat and your most beautiful expression of all fours making sure that the hips are over the knees and our shoulders are over the wrists once you feel good here go ahead and close the eyes down and begin to drop in right here, right now. We're forgetting the to-do list of the day, forgetting of the pressures of the world on us right now, and just focusing on what we can control, which is our thoughts right here and our actions on this map. Inhaling deeply into the abdomen area, and of course, exhaling fully here. On an inhale, we're gonna drop that belly and lift that chest, take the gaze forward. Exhale, we round from the pelvis all the way up through the neck. Inhale for a cow. Exhale, round for cat. Go ahead and do a few of these, matching up with your own breath. Getting our spine nice and warm here. And we're gonna do this one more time. And then we're gonna take a wrist warm up. So let's go ahead and just take circles here. We're, we will reverse the circle, so don't worry about that. And reverse that circle. Beautiful. Point those fingers towards the outside edges of the mat. Rock right to left. Beautiful. Now we're going to point those fingers towards our bodies and maybe just coming back a little bit, stretching all through those forearms here. It should be nice and juicy. As always, there should never be any sharp shooting or stabbing pains coming from our practice today. You can reach your level of discomfort and then back off. We do not want to hurt ourselves. Go ahead, sit back with the toes tucked. Shake those wrists out. Maybe do a little wave with the wrist if you like that kind of thing. Not focusing on those toes, taking all the focus on the wrist. Beautiful. Go ahead and walk those hands forward. Toes are tucked, so send that booty up. Coming in for the first downward dog of the day. Go ahead and walk your feet, getting those hamstrings nice and stretched out here. And we're going to hot step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come up overhead. And exhale them down through heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, we fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands. Step the feet back into plank. Lower down the knees the chest and the chin. Roll through into our baby cobra and exhale, meet back downward facing dog. Beautiful. Go ahead and sweep that right leg up, three leg dog. Bring that right foot in between the hands. Allow yourself to rise up, high lunge. 
hands up overhead. Frame that foot, step it back, downward dog. Three leg dog, left leg. Bring it forward in between the hands, allow the inhale to rise you up. Ha lunge, arms up overhead. Beautiful, plant that hand, <laughs> plant the hands, frame the foot, and step back, downward dog. That's vinyasa. Roll forward, plank, look forward. Lower down, danda, chaturanga dandasana, plus up. Upward facing dog, meet back, downward facing dog. Whew, I'm gonna try to keep my words together here, but I'm moving us, so we are going to be warm today. Right leg up, three leg dog. Bring it through in between the hands. Allow your inhale to rise you up. High lunge. Arms overhead, maybe palms touch. Beautiful. Frame that foot. Step it back. Down dog. Inhale. Left leg up. Three leg dog. Roll forward. Step it in between the hands. Allow your inhale to rise you up. High lunge. Palms might touch overhead. Beautiful. Frame that foot. Step it back. Down dog. Vinyasa. Roll forward. Look forward. Lower down chaturanga. Push up. Upward facing dog. Meet back. Downward dog. <sighs> Roll forward. Come onto those knees. Beautiful. You can untuck those toes. <laughs> We're getting it, aren't we? My microphone's not being very nice to me. Okay, so we're coming in for our sunbird. So right hand out front, left foot behind us. Breathing. We're going to bring the knee to elbow five times. So one, out, two, out, three, out, four, out, five, out, hold. You can go ahead and plant that right hand, bring that left foot to the side. Take pulses. One, two, three, four, five. To the back, and let's do the pulses here. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Right leg goes back, left arm goes forward. Hold, find the balance, and we crunch. One, out, two, out. Three, out, four, out, five, out, hold. Go ahead and plant that left hand, bring that foot to the right side and pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Take it around back, pulse here. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Go ahead and tuck those toes. Send your booty up. Come back into our downward dog. Go ahead and take you a breath here. Just one. Inhale that right leg up, three leg dog. Bring it through, step it in between the hands, pivot on that back foot and allow yourself to rise up into our warrior one. Arms up overhead. Beautiful. Go ahead and open those arms up. Coming into our warrior two. Bringing those hips centered. Pointed towards our mat here. Gazes towards that right hand. Drop that left hand. Right hand sweeps up. Exalted warrior. Beautiful. Windmilling these arms. Framing this right foot. Stepping back. Down dog. Vinyasa roll forward plank. Look forward. Lower down chaturanga. Push up. Upward facing dog. Meet me back. Downward dog. Beautiful. Inhale. Left leg up. Three leg dog. Roll forward. Plant it in between the hands. Pivot on that back leg and allow yourself to rise up. Warrior one. Beautiful. Open those arms up. Coming in for warrior two. Breathing. Bring that right hand down, left hand sweeps up, exalted warrior. Beautiful. Windmill those arms, frame that foot, step it back, downward dog. 
Got it, we vinyasa. Roll forward plank. Look forward. Lower down, chaturanga. Push up. Upward facing dog. Meet back. Downward dog. Beautiful. Inhale. Right leg up. Three leg dog. Roll forward, step it in between the hands. Pivot on that back foot. Allow your inhale to rise you up. Warrior one. Breathe. Open up. Warrior two. Gazes towards that right hand. Drop that right left hand. Right hand sweeps up. Exalted warrior. Cartwheel those arms. Frame that foot. Step back. Down dog. That's vinyasa. Plank. Chaturanga, upward dog, meet back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up, three leg dog, roll forward, plant it in between the hands. Pivot on that back foot, allow your inhale to rise you up, warrior one. Open up, to warrior two. Drop that back hand, left hand lifts up, exalted warrior Beautiful. Cartwheel those hands. Frame that foot. Step back. Down dog. Breathe. Roll forward into plank. Lower down chaturanga. Push up. Upward facing dog. Meet me back. Downward dog. Okay. I am going to allow you <laughs> to breathe. Let's just do like three breaths here. If you want to take the breaths in child's pose, be my guest. We've got two more. Beautiful. Bringing the elbows down, coming in for our dolphin. So you can leave the feet where they are, or you can try to walk them forward. We're doing dolphin push-ups. If you've been on the channel, we've done these before. We're going to try to bring our nose near our thumbs. Okay? And back up. Ten times. So that was one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Beautiful. Coming back into our downward facing dog <sighs> if you're working on pincha those dolphin push-ups they're where it's at okay i promise beautiful let's go ahead and inhale we're sweeping our right leg up you can bend that knee if you want or you can leave it straight and take some circles here Let's go three one way. And we'll go three the other way. And once you get done, we're landing in three leg dog. Go ahead and plant that foot down. Come on into plank and we're going to pivot over left side, bossy stashana, side plank. Now that right foot can step behind for a wild thing. If you want to push up into wild thing or just stay in side plank coming back to side plank we're going to step that right foot up beside this left hand okay and we're going to allow our inhale to rise us up into our high lunge hands up overhead okay Find your positioning and go ahead and bend that left leg just a little bit. Arms up. We pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Frame that foot. Step back. Downward dog. Svinyasa. Roll forward. Plank. Look forward, chaturanga, upward dog, meet me back, downward dog. Inhale that left leg up. You can bend your knee or keep it straight. We're taking those circles. So three one way and then reverse that circle and take them the other way. 
And when you get done, we're meeting either in three leg dog or you can come back to plank before we pivot over to our Vasi Stashana. Side plank here. Same options as the other side. If you want to step that left foot back, push up into our wild thing. Or you can just hang out in side plank. Beautiful. We're going to bring those toes out beside this right hand and allow an inhale to rise us up. High lunge. Arms overhead. Bend that back leg. Let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Frame that foot. Step it back. Downward dog. Roll forward plank. Look forward. Lower down chaturanga. Push up. Upward facing dog. Meet me back. Downward dog. Whew, same thing. Okay, I'm offering you child's pose. Otherwise, we are chilling in our downward dog here. Options yours. However, wherever you are, I want you to be taking big, solid, deep breaths. Rejuvenating that body. By keeping our mouth closed and breathing only through our nose, we allow that fire and that heat to build up inside of us. If you want to get rid of some of that heat, you open your mouth and you let some of it out. <sighs> if you're hot right now. We're going to hop, step, or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Oh yeah, standing forward fold. I'm going to let us be here for... Just a second. Slowly, we'll peel ourselves up to standing. Let's go ahead and bring that right leg out long. Hands can be at the hips or overhead, whatever's best for you. Take it over to the side. Allow the shake back to the front. Release. Left leg up. Hold. Feel the shake out to the left. Back front, release. All right, we're going to sweep that right foot up. We're going to grab it with this left hand. So this is what we're going for. If you need your hand on your calf or your knee area, that's fine. Wherever we are, we're just playing with balance here. So once you get to where you feel good, Take that right hand out behind and maybe attempt to take that gaze around to that right hand. Breathing. We're going to release this leg. We're going to bring the left hand down, right, hand, right leg back, coming into half moon. So we're just gliding that right foot through. And then this left hand is on the mat, right hands up, half moon, beautiful, we're going to take a big step back with this right foot, and go ahead and come up with your hands, pivot on that foot, we're in a high lunge, we are coming down for Skandasana, on that left side. Beautiful. Hands at heart center or over, overhead. 
Breathe. Feel those hips. Bring that right hand beside that left foot. Left hand sweeps up. Revolve side angle. Beautiful. Frame that foot, step back, downward dog. Let's vinyasa, roll forward, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Beautiful, we're gonna walk, hop, step, jump to the top of the mat. Here we are in this forward fold again. Just take just a second here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And we are going to root to rise. Arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, one down through heart center. All right, let's go for the other side. So left leg comes up. We grab it with that right hand. And we can grab the calf or the knee, wherever feels good for you. Making sure the hips are square. We're breathing. Maybe taking that gaze to that left hand. And we're gonna glide through for half a moon on this side. So releasing that foot and bringing the right hand towards the ground. Gazes towards that left hand. Breathing. No holding or clenching here. You got this. Big step back. And we're coming up for our high lunge here. Beautiful job. Come on down. Skandasana on this right side here. Once again, hands at heart center or they can be up overhead. Whatever you prefer here. And we're gonna plant this left hand beside this right foot, right hand sweeps up. Revolved side angle. Breathe. Beautiful, plant that, or <laughs> frame that foot, step back. Down dog, roll forward, plank, lower down, chaturanga, push up, upward facing dog. Meet me back, downward dog. Beautiful, right leg sweeps up. Go ahead and take it up into our wild thing. Pushing up, chest is lifted towards the sky. Beautiful, we're gonna plant that right hand, bring that right foot through for a fallen star. Left hand sweeps up. Everyone's favorite. Beautiful, frame that foot and step it back. Down dog, of course, we are vinyasa Roll forward, lower down chaturanga, push up, upward dog. Meet me back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up, three leg dog. Maybe come on in, do our wild thing here, stepping behind us, pushing that chest up, breathing, no holding, no clenching that breath here. Plant that hand, bring that left foot through, coming in for fall and star, lift those hips up. Beautiful, plant that hand. Step that foot back. Let's vinyasa. Roll forward, plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Push up, upward facing dog. Meet me back. Downward dog. Here's your chance to take child's pose if you would like. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just gonna take some nice inhales and exhales here and down dog. I feel nice. I hope that you guys feel nice too. We're gonna come down into Turbo Dog. 
So this is kind of like dolphin, except we're not putting our forearms on the ground. We're just kind of hovering them like so. Okay, so go ahead, come in for turbo dog. And breathe, feel the shake, allow the shake to happen. And just push through it. Smile, tell yourself what, what an awesome rock star you are. <laughs> and push up, hop, step or jump, top of the mat. Go ahead and bring that booty down to the mat. Send the legs out long. Coming into a cedar forward fold. We are not done. Just giving us a little break here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over those legs. We hinge at the hips. A nice little bend in the knees protects those knees. And it allows the stretch through the back. <laughs> if we straighten the legs out, this is going to be um, much harder to get the back stretched. So when we bend through the knees, it allows us to stretch more through the back. And of course, as always, I'm talking a lot, but this is a great time to give yourself a nice little foot massage if you are into that sort of thing. If you are here and you can't reach your feet, a little massage through these outer IT bands is always really nice. Also, just to massage those hamstrings. Showing the body love, right? It's not something that we are accustomed to. But we are bringing ourselves to be accustomed to loving ourselves and our bodies. Breathe. Go ahead and peel ourselves up. We're going to play with some boats. So we're going to go half boat, full boat. Okay? So we will do these like five times. So here we are in boat and full boat. And we're going to call this half boat. Okay? So let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. I think we can do ten. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Beautiful. Come back in the boat. Hug those knees and go ahead. Give yourself the biggest hug you've given yourself all day. Maybe kissing those knees. Crossing those legs, let's vinyasa. Plant those hands, step the feet back into plank. Look forward, lower down, chaturanga. Push up, upward dog, meet back. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Once you get here, go and take your feet to the outside edges. Take that left hand to that right ankle. Nice little twist here. Beautiful. Plant that left hand. Take that right hand to that left ankle. Beautiful. Walk the hands back. So we are going to play with crow jump backs into Chaturanga. So We've played with crow quite a bit. So this is kind of like um, where we can go next with it. So we're gonna be at the top of the mat. We're gonna go ahead and come into our crow position. Of course, we like to get here, kind of a standing forward fold position. Plant the hands and then bring those knees back on the back of the elbows and then bring those legs up. All right, so the jump back 
Well, our arms are already in position to hold our bodies in chaturanga. So all we got to do is get our legs back, right? <laughs> and then we push up. Okay, so that's what we're going to play with. Now, if crow is not in your practice, you can get you a block, put it right here in front of your forehead. That way you can play with crow without falling any further than the block. So yeah, let's have some play time here. Playing with crow and then trying to jump back, okay? <laughs> Just play. We're just going to do this a few times here to have some fun with me on your mat. Maybe coming into a forward fold, taking those wrist circles, allowing yourself some more play time. Maybe pulling those knees up higher on the legs. Seeing how that feels, how that makes it any easier to jump back. Let's play one more time. And then we will move on. Very nice. You can go ahead and just bring those legs to the side and we're going to come onto our backs. Whew. Hugging those knees in. And we're coming in for bridge, so let's make sure we can feel those heels and push up through the hips. Maybe interlacing those hands, tucking those shoulders. Breathing. Release those hands and the hips. Windshield wiper those legs left to right. And let's do it again. Filling those heels and engaging those glutes. Tucking those shoulder blades, interlacing those hands. So many things. main thing is we are breathing we are not holding or clenching our breath beautiful release windshield of those legs if you like to take full wheel you can take full wheel with me otherwise we're coming back in for bridge again just doing whatever feels good for you here and allow the inhale to push you up into bridge or full wheel. Whatever feels good for you. Just breathing. No holding, no clenching, wherever you are. Slowly release. Yes, windshield. Wipe those legs. I'm going to come through for plow. Which is always such a super exercise after full wheel. This round, we opened the spine this way, and now we're going to close the spine. So bring those legs up. We're going to bring them over our head. You can use your hands to help you lift them off. And wow, the toes to come back. You can straighten your legs or you can leave them a little bit bent. The pose is with straight legs if you can get it there. Maybe using your hands on your back as support. We're not looking at me once we get in this position. <laughs> We're looking straight up. I don't want to mess up the neck here. Breathe. Uh, 
I drop those, those uh, knees beside of our ears. Just a general direction. They may not make it there. slowly peel ourselves down we'll bring our hands behind our booties here so whenever our booties roll down our hands are under it legs go out long so now we have our elbows on the ground hands under our booties legs out long push up through that chest and drop that head back for fish pushing up through the chest breathing no holding no clenching Beautiful, release those hands. Go ahead and hug those knees in. Send the arms out into our T shape here and go ahead and bring the legs over towards the right. Gaze goes towards the left, maybe taking that right hand on that left knee. Just breathing here. And now those legs back to center. Arms are in the T and drop them over towards the left. Maybe bring in that left hand on that right knee. Gaze goes towards that right hand. And now back to center. Let's go and take happy baby, grabbing the outside edges of those feet and pulling those knees toward the armpits. General direction once again. We didn't do a whole lot of hip work today, so this should feel nice. Maybe a little tight, but overall this should feel very nice. And release and go ahead and find our Shavasana. If you want to take a heart opening Shavasana, please grab your bolster or block and be my guest. It would be very appropriate here. Tuck in those shoulder blades and palms face up. Nice big inhales and exhales here. Only focusing on the breath. You worked up lots of good, powerful energy. Now it's time to let 
the body absorb into that power. Let it become aware of what we just did. And now we are allowing the body to know that we are okay. Everything is exactly as it should be. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Very slowly, we will bring our awareness back to the body, wiggling those fingers and toes. Maybe taking the arms over your head, full body stretch here. And rolling over to one side before we push up into our seated position. Go ahead and bring your hands to your heart center. The light in me honors and acknowledges that light that shines so bright within you. Go ahead and bring your thumbs up to your third eye. Bow your head. Thank you for showing up today. I look forward to seeing you back on the mat tomorrow. Namaste.